Hi, welcome to my garden. <laughs> I'd like today to tell the inside story, the real story, about how Hillary Clinton came to be corrupt. Because when I knew her and when I worked for her, she wasn't totally corrupt. There were some corners she cut in white water, and she certainly got a $100,000 bribe from the futures cattle market trading. But, you know, compared to what she subsequently made, that was peanuts. The story starts that when Clinton was beginning to leave the White House and preparing for his departure, he got hit with some unpleasant news, which was that he was going to lose his law license in Arkansas uh, because of the Paula Jones litigation and his perjury in it. And the Clintons did not have much money saved up. He was living really on the perks of the presidency, but on his 400000 a year paycheck. And Hillary and Bill became addicted to the perks of luxury, to the bubble that they lived in. My wife describes it as a bubble in our book Armageddon, how Trump can beat Hillary. Uh, free everything and airplanes at your disposal and limos whenever you want them and staff to do anything you want and um, free everything. Uh, and she and Bill, 10 years in the Arkansas governor's mansion, eight years in the White House, became addicted to it. It became something that was essential to their lives. Bill was never like that. And Hillary always wanted money for future security, but she certainly wasn't materialistic herself. Then, when they saw that they were going to leave the White House and not be able to practice law, uh, they hit on a new career, bribery. And Hillary uh, described herself as dead broke in that interview. Well, psychologically, she was afraid of being dead broke. They had a huge book contract, but Bill was disbarred. So they decided on a, on a career of bribery. And originally the career was that people would pay Bill bribes for deregulating the banks. In 1999 and in 2000, he signed legislation that he had always opposed and had always told me he would never sign, deregulating the big banks. Uh, and in return, right after he left office, uh, he got a $125,000 speaking fee from Morgan Stanley, two weeks after he left the White House. May not sound like much in light of their subsequent winnings, but hey, he was being paid 400 a year as president, and 125 was a good piece of change, and he was off to the races at that point. And bank after bank came in and gave him speaking fees, gave her some speaking fees, but mainly him, because she was limited in the Senate, and, um, and, and he happily pocketed them. Then, as speculation mounted that Hillary would run for president in 2004 and 2005, the bribes increased, the speaking fees went up, and they set up the Clinton Foundation so that the veneer of charity, the pretense of charity, uh, and some good works marginally thrown in to make it look good, um, could become a major bribery-receiving vehicle. And between the speaking fees and the Clinton Foundation, they really put together some serious change. When Hillary lost the race for president, it seemed like they were set back. But then when she got secretary of state, uh, they were off to the races again. And they now had something to sell, access to the secretary of state. So they went global. And Bill traveled all over the world, meeting with foreign leaders, allegedly uh, giving speeches for fees. But in fact, the fees were bribes and the contributions to the Clinton Foundation were bribes for favorable treatment in the State Department. And then after she left state and she uh, became a likely candidate for president, uh, the bribes have continued. Now, the essential to bribery is cover-up. And the, therefore, they made a decision at the very beginning that they would not use official servers, but would use private servers, both in the Senate and as Secretary of State, because they needed to be able to erase the bribery's fingerprints and footprints. Uh, they needed to be able to go back and clean up their act so they wouldn't get caught. And that was the reason for the private server. If in the process she endangers national security and puts our innermost secrets out there for the Chinese and Russians to hack, well, I'm sorry, that's just a cost of doing business. The important point was that she could not be accused of bribery because the smoking gun would be erased uh, by the email erasure. So that's how it happened. That's why and how she became and he became a racketeering organization. This marriage that began as a romance 
became a partnership in the 90s, became a RICO, a racketeering organization, in, the, uh, in this last decade and a half. Now, this story has really never been told, and uh, the media will never cover it. So please make this go viral. Put this all over the place, because we need to understand this historical background that I lay out in my book, Armageddon, How Trump Can Beat Hillary, about how Hillary Clinton and Bill became fundamentally corrupt. And if you like this, click like, because I like you, and it'll help us stay in touch. Thanks a lot for watching.